It literally took me six years to figure out what this tool did, and when I figured it out, it blew my mind. I've got a coffee cup here, but it kind of stinks as a coffee cup. We need to pull the top and bottom edges in, and you can do that with just the direct selection tool, right? And you kind of have to eyeball if it's the same on both sides, but you actually don't. I'm going to show you a little trick with the scale tool. The scale tool is right over here. It's also the S key if you want to use that as a keyboard shortcut. But if you click one of the anchor points with your direct selection tool, okay, that's the second white mouse here. So select them both and then hit your S key. It's going to place that scale marker right in the middle. And then we can just grab one of the anchor points and watch this. If we just drag in, it will scale them both evenly. Let's do it again. Let's do it to the bottom. So go ahead and go to the bottom. Go back to your direct selection tool. I'm just hitting the A key to switch really quickly. Click that, hold the shift key, click the other one, hit the S key, and just scale them in. Look at that. That's so much easier than doing one side of it and then having to transform and flip the other side of it to try to make it look the same. This is so, so, so much quicker, but that's not all it can do. Let me show you what else it can do. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this. Now I've got a little friend here, but his mouth is, well, it's kind of weird. So we can click on this bottom anchor point here and we'll see that two handles come up. These are called Bezier Curve Handles, and if you've ever worked with the pen tool in Illustrator, you'll be familiar with these, or at least you'll have seen them. Now, we can try to scale these in, and that works just fine, but it's not going to be even. So, just like we did with the anchor points, we can actually scale these Bezier Curve Handles with the Scale tool. So, make sure that bottom point is selected, hit the S key, that's just to jump straight to the Scale tool and then just grab one of these handles and just drag in just like that. And look at that. Doesn't that make you happy? <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna learn how to rotate objects in a circle, check out this video.